Welcome back to Tamara's Travel. because I'm going on the Golden Circle Tour today. I've heard such amazing things from my friends about it. And first up, for all you Game of Thrones fans out there, is where they filmed the Game of Thrones Eyrie Castle scenes. In fact, there are like entire tours dedicated now to Game of Thrones themes, if you're interested. So this is Thinkviklir National Park. I highly recommend visiting. It's absolutely breathtaking. What about me? This place where we are standing, this is also what we call the first parliament or the pagan parliament. It was right here where we are standing. And right there where the flag is, you see it? That's the Christian parliament where it was moved later. Uh, here in these cabins is the prime minister's cabins where he has uh, foreign dignitaries for coffee and tea. And in the lake in the summer we have brown trout and arctic char who come here and in October you can see the brown trout they are all in scars uh, they all look like heavy duty gangsters they are fighting and this is because it's the mating season and the water is so clear so you can basically see it all happen it's pretty amazing and you know this uh, gorge here where you're going to be walking in you might know this from the popular tv show game of thrones but actually they computer animated one of the castles here in the middle of a gorge I'm here in Iceland in between the tectonic plates and each year it widens slightly. So there's the two sides of the tectonic plates. The waterfalls were really pretty, the walk was really great. There's a little too many tourists, so honestly, instead of going on a tour, I recommend renting a car and showing up at like 6 in the morning before all the other tourists wake up. And uh, maybe even see a beautiful sunrise. Probably not because it's Iceland and the sun comes up at 2 a.m. But uh, I would definitely recommend uh, renting a car. I really feel like that's kind of the way to go in Iceland. Um, it's pretty expensive because the gas here is really expensive. But if you get two or three of your other buddies to pitch in, then road tripping it. So my travel tip for today is to do a road trip instead of doing these tour buses. Especially if you're in a group of two or more people. If you're by yourself, tours are a good way to go because you don't have to do a lot of driving by yourself. Fuel and car rentals are also expensive in Iceland. But if you're splitting the cost with you and a couple of your other friends, then it is a much more efficient, cheaper way to go, and you can just stop where you feel like it. It's really hard to get around Iceland outside of Reykjavik, which you can just walk around because I think it's like a couple miles. Uh, but outside of that, the transportation is not so often. I wanted to go to see the... Um, I was on a real big time crunch because I was only in Iceland for three days, and I really wanted to see the glaciers, but unfortunately, it was 4 p.m. and they said the bus left at 5, but the next bus would not come back until the next day. 
And so I wasn't able to go because the buses just don't run very often. So if you have a car, you have a lot more flexibility and freedom of when you want to come and go. And then you can also go places before people arrive. Because this water is melted through the glacier, it's supposed to be some of the clearest water in the world. So you're not supposed to climb on the rocks, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely did. Shh, don't tell anyone. It could be like our secret. A lot of tourists do. If you are going to climb on the rocks, be careful. It's probably not safe. So probably don't do it. Yeah, no. I'm climbing the rocks in Iceland. Because I climbed that mountain I wasn't supposed to, I'm kind of running late and I gotta meet with my tour guide, otherwise he's going to leave me. Here in Iceland, which would actually be okay with me because it is absolutely beautiful. Though I don't know that I would like the cold weather. So, I have to hurry. Thank you so much for watching Tamara's Travels. I really hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, definitely check out my other Icelandic videos if you're thinking about going to Iceland. I will also be going to Ireland next, so stay tuned. Give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And click subscribe if you want to see my other videos.